Hi, I want to talk about urine utilization. In the communities of ecological sanitation, uh, resources oriented sanitation, urine diversion, toilets, it is uh, almost uh, common that it's uh, advisable to put uh, urine or also uh, treated uh, human excreta uh, to, uh, well, food for humans in uh, gardens and in agriculture in general. And I have followed this view also for uh, many years, very much to my regret. And I have to say that a lot of the failures that have been experienced by myself and others in large uh, sanitation projects, ecological sanitation projects, were due to the fact that we were promoting the utilization for food. And as uh, probably 95, 99% of the world population is completely opposed to this, uh, this is a no-go from the beginning. And it is so much more a no-go because it is also scientifically not advisable for many reasons. Uh, reason one, we have uh, pharmaceutical residues in uh, urine, so the pharmaceuticals people take, and that includes uh, the contraceptive pill, will uh, mostly end up in uh, the urine. And, um, well, about half of the pharmaceutical residues is biodegradable in some way, but the other half is really, really not uh, going to degrade in the normal circumstances. And it's very clear that if, put, if you put urine in whatever form diluted to your vegetables, you will find these pharmaceutical residues in the fruit, in the crop, and especially leafy fruits like uh, uh, leafy crops like uh, salad and so on will accumulate it because the water is evaporating and the water is, um, well, taking up these um, pharmaceutical residues. So that's point one and that should exclude it already. And there is no such thing that after six months these things have degraded. That's, that's complete nonsense. There's uh, absolutely no uh, legitimate uh, research uh, that can show that. To the contrary, we have shown in years and years of research of uh, urine utilization that I was really promoting, as I said, and uh, it was always frustrating that uh, really so many of the pharmaceutical residues are not reacting to any treatment. Not to say that in a very good soil with lots of fungi, a lot more degradation may take place, uh, but that's a different story. And still, I would exclude um, human food for the moral utilization of urine. And by the way, of course, I'm pro-using urine, but in a, in a proper form. So then the next point is people will not accept it anyway. Uh, but also, uh, we had one project in Eastern Europe and we were also promoting utilization of human urine uh, for vegetable uh, production because fertilizers are very expensive for people. And so, uh, one old lady was uh, using urine on her commercial garden was not a, not a big enterprise, but uh, she really relied on this garden for her livelihood. Um, and uh, when people understood that she used urine on the garden, um, then uh, people didn't buy her vegetables anymore. And that's something what, um, well, was shocking for me. And so that's another reason I would not advise to do that. Another thing is that we have a lot of substances that are forming in the human body and that are also uh, in the urine. 
And there's a large field in alternative medicine uh, that is called urine therapy. And it's um, very popular in, in some countries of the world, in some cultures. And um, that's something which shows us that urine uh, will make sort of a uh, well, self-remediation thing. But I don't want to eat a tomato with the urine of somebody else and um, even if there is no pharmaceutical residues in there, I, didn't, I wouldn't want uh, the stuff from the urine of this uh, human in there. So that is another reason to exclude this. Um, so, well, the same applies basically for uh, human excreta in general. And um, so there is uh, some other uh, restriction for urine application because I'm, of course, promoting regenerative agriculture. So there is a video in this channel on uh, regenerative agriculture and uh, it is very clear that we should get away from uh, the mineral nitrogen fertilization right away because it's destructive to soil life and uh, a healthy soil is producing uh, nitrogen by itself so we mustn't uh, put uh, mineral nitrogen in there because that will simply lead to a um, well uh, pushing of the plants and this is the same with urine and with commercial uh, NPK fertilizers. So that's chemical ag agriculture even though it may sound natural uh, but there is a way to make urine uh, organic and that is to put it on um, some uh, comfrey plants that would take it up and they, as an exception in the plant world, they can really work very well with um, well with ammonia or nitrate um, in, 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 in their uh, root system and so that would convert it to large amounts of uh, composting material that I would still not use for the gardens uh, for the next couple of years. But that's one step of treatment. And another treatment for urine is to use uh, a bigger pile of uh, sawdust, of um, well, uh, wood chips, and they must be pretty dry, must be protected from rain, and then urine can be percolated over it in a way that there is uh, some containment below. And the a fraction that is sort of trickling through will be put back on top, could be done with a pump if it's a larger system. And so this would be composting the urine and make it organic fertilizer. And as I said, still for reforestation, industrial crops, or also fodder crops. And uh, you will need around 200 kilograms of uh, wood chips or woody materials, dry woody materials to, um, well, treat the urine of one, um, one human. And uh, that's something what is, um, sounds a lot, but uh, the woody waste is abundant in agriculture, like straw and all that stuff that is burned in many parts of the world, un unfortunately, what is crazy. Uh, but uh, then you can really add this to uh, to a good soil and um, improve that one with a lot of uh, well composted woody material that w w gives rise to the fungi in the soil and those are essential for uh, making the uh, well well the, 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 the soil very very much uh, productive so these are two ways for utilization and in total to to sum up um, humans are not producing that much fertilizer and this is something where we can really see that it's uh, something 
uh, where the animals uh, make a lot of manure if they are kept in cages and we should uh, free those animals, put them onto uh, pastures in uh, rotational grazing, so that would be the ecological sanitation for animals. And uh, at the same time, we don't have all these huge um, amounts of manure that are a big problem in many parts of the world. But humans are producing only 10 to 15 percent of the fertilizer needed around the world. All right, so that's so much for now. And uh, yeah, feel free to discuss. The German version of this video was peaking a lot of um, discussion and I hope to get in touch with you to get your views. Thank you very much.